What's up, y'all? How are we getting audio? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the BTS of the How to Be a Rad Dad. I was literally gonna thing. say the same thing. Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the like BTS vlog of uh, our film we just made. We went, we went pretty rogue, pretty rogue for this one. Dang, looking solid. Huh? I mean, I feel good. Basically, we are working with EcoFlow on this project. They were like, wanted to sponsor this video, and we were like, we gotta go all out and make it a cool idea. So we tried to go all out and make it a cool idea. We got these bad boy products, EcoFlow Delta Pros. BBP, bad boy products. And shout out to brands that let you kind of do the silly idea yeah. that you want to do. Three, two, one, jump. <laughs> All right, Niles, what is How to Be a Rad Dad about? And then we'll go into production. Oh, How to Be a Rad Dad kind of channels a lot of what where we've been at in life, which is mixing our sick hobbies with trying to be sick dads. We both want to keep doing our hobbies. We want to keep doing rad stuff. Yeah. But we also want to be good parents, good husbands. And we also want to teach our kids all the things that we love to do. So we had like the pitted action sports dad and this part of the film took us over to Leavenworth, Washington. All right, dang. Well, we made it to Leavenworth, but uh, the spot for coffee is closed. Will it redeem? Will it redeem, that's the question. All right, we've made it to Joel's, just getting a little tour of where we're shooting. This house is sick. They got a shop with a, yeah, check this out. This is what a, a dreamy garage looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, dude. What up? Hey. Gotta say hey to our uh, vlog. Shout out to Joel for being such a trooper on this. He looks absolutely insane. Joel's persona is just the pitted Sandy dad, like the dad who gives you hope that like you can still be extreme. We start with like, yeah, he did run 100 miles. He did. He ran 105 miles with a broken rib. Like that's completely true. And Joel really does like every sport with his family. They like yes. kayak on a river raft. They like mountain bike. They run. They su they summit mountains as a family. It's pretty. It's pretty sick. And it's definitely like our inspo for like a dad that sends it, kids that send it. Yeah. And so hopefully. I'm just overlaying vlog footage from our production. There wasn't like a ton of BTS because we're also running the production uh, and trying to direct and a little bit. And we really missed Joshua and Taylor for this one. Yeah, we, we did. did. We did. We did. So we used the EcoFlow to power. We powered a 120D off of it, which is pretty sick. All right, off and on. So All right, right. Now we are charging. We're pulling 120 five watts of power 23 25 26 Cut. trick here was we were emulating a shot that you would see in an action sports dock but need to make it look a little better so also we, did we had our shoulders in it right. right and we also went super weird with like two over the shoulders which we thought was just funny the whole video is quirky so it's not supposed to be like perfect dramatic cinematic interview shot it's supposed to be funny so that's where we went the most important thing to know about this kind of light is it can be a little too interrogation if it's here where you basically get shadows here and here. But what it does is it's very thinning. If you're like it's me off. and you got a weak AF jawline, then just put your light like this, make your jawline sick. We filled in with a NAN light tube. Yeah, and it's a little NAN, NAN light tube light. These things are sweet. Different colors, different intensities, you know. Uh, we're gonna plug in the ski iron now to the EcoFlow. So show kind of a practical use. Maybe you're in a shop or a shed that doesn't have any power and you wanna go skiing. Okay, if you've ever been one curious how much power an iron pulls, let's find out. Oh. The biggest thing we saw, we saw the iron put out 1500 watts of power, which we've now learned is a lot, as well as your Didn't es espresso machine put up like 1600. Yeah, and the oh, and the power washer and the power washer. Yeah, basically, we used the EcoFlow on this production to test. We only got the unit sent to us a, maybe like a week or two before yeah. we started, so we were testing it out, but really, we we're like. It's kind of a new product to us. It's an amazing product. I'm not just saying that. I know it's a little bit more on the pricey side, but as like a home backup solution or a production rig on the go or like any 
mobile power station. This thing is the cream of the crop. And not to get too salesy here, and we don't even have this, but you can hook up solar panels so you don't have to plug it into your actual outlet to charge it. You could charge it via solar yeah. and then have that thing always be gassed up ready to run. Electric to up. So it's not like we were making a commercial for EcoFlow. We wanted to make our film more of how to be a rad dad, but then obviously integrate the product. They kind of paid for this film, this movie, and uh, yeah, so it was sick to like try to integrate a product, not in a super like tech review way, but more just to show it in like a funny way. Right. And hopefully it a couple people buy it. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> I think when you think of good brand integrations, you think of, you know, placed appropriately and not overdone, which in this video, I mean, we haven't edited it yet, so maybe it is a little overdone. Yeah, yeah. But Yeti Coolers is a good example of just, they just lightly place their product in scenes and then tell you a good story. So for this, we were hoping that people would just laugh. People would think it's generally funny. Are we cool dads? Yeah. Are we rad dads? Yeah. But also that there is a takeaway, that it's like, oh, it's like you can be a rad parent. You can be a rad dad, a rad mom. That's kind of what we want, we want the, the takeaway to be. A little inspirational with a little bit of funny. Hi, camera. Hi. Hi, dada. Hi. Can you say dada? Dada. We Pretty filmed nice. a little bit, like, he'll f he filmed at California with his products and his family, and then um, I filmed here a little bit with my daughter, family, but the main chunk of this filming has been the last four days here. Niles and his whole family flew up, stayed at our house. It's just been a fun, hectic filming slash family hangout time. Look at these kids, dude. Say, what's up? What's up? I feel like, I feel like that side is better. <laughs> the next day to show more of the home preparedness we went over to my dad's house my parents live on a lake and they deal with a lot of like crazy weather actually shout out to my dad for being in it he's not really playing a character he's just like just hey dad can you himself. be in it he's not he doesn't know how to be in videos really himself. every dad needs a place to put their tools 126 bags of concrete dude have you seen this this is my anti-geese sprinkler his character is basically the dad who has a fix. So a classic dad cliche trope is that dads fix stuff. If something's broken, dads can fix it. And he is the actual epitome of that. Basically everything on that lake house, he's touched, he's fixed, he's redone. And if you look at the lake house, you think, wow, that place is really nice. Like he's, he must have paid someone a lot of money to, to, to build this place up. And it's like, no, he actually just did it himself. But the main thing we wanted to show is that you can connect to EcoFlow Delta Pros together with like a cable and get uh, 30, like 240 volts from it, basically enough to power your house, yep. similar to a generator switch just installed on your house. And so he has that. So basically with these two units, we were able to power his whole house. We don't know like a ton about all the electrical stuff of all this, but we know how to like make it quirky, hopefully. And like hire an electrician to like put that stuff in. Yeah, this is a solid. disclaimer. And when we were actually at Joel's, there's snow on the ground. We had my car, the Forerunner. It's yeah. like a newer-ish car, like fine, battery shouldn't have died, but we left the, like the car door open and the for tailgate hours. the whole time. Maybe I left the lights on, I don't know. We were filming the, for a couple hours and we come back out, tried to go to the next spot and uh, turn the, and it was dead. Where's Behind the spot me. for it? On the ground. Right there. Where's the, uh, the, the lighter? The lighter port's on the side. Boom, right there. Port. We got ethernet ports? What the? <laughs> Initiating vert mode. <laughs> Who knows if this is gonna work. Let's give it a little bit of time. I don't know if this is recommended or not, so EcoFlow, hopefully, you know, if this is in the vlog, then they were cool with it, maybe. We'll be like, fry it. Oh! oh! That was sick. Okay, let's go Nordic. I think this is how you get your flow, boy. Are the pump up jams crucial for skiing, a ski sesh? Dude, it's all about that mindset. And then for the third chapter, we had none other than our wives, because, you know, behind every rad dad, is a, is a rad wife, a rad mom, who's really laying the foundation uh, of the family most often. I think you're fun dads. You do stuff with the kids. Mm -hmm. 
fun involved. The other side of it is that it is funny. Like what they say does have truth to it with like us always trying to go do our hobbies. Oh, trying to go surf six hour runs on Saturday. Yeah, they hate What's it. What's the most annoying thing that we do? Leave and run for hours. Yeah, spend too much time oh. on your hobbies. <laughs> Why do you have 15 hobbies? Yeah, what? The surf, run. You're 30. What else? Oh, now I need to work out more. <laughs> <laughs> My ridges aren't big enough. <laughs> <laughs> but they also love it because we love it and we're better dads for it. And I'll yeah. say better husbands too. And and really that is kind of the ethos of most of this. It's like finding that balance. Yes. Like, hence our Venn diagram. I'm 100% serious. Yeah. Like, Niles could teach a college course with the Venn diagram. <laughs> also, Caleb didn't know what a Venn diagram was. <laughs> Well, you remember now because we already did it. <laughs> For sure. But our wives killed it. They actually did like so good on camera. on camera. Yeah. They did, they did great. Yeah. And so thank you if you're watching this, which I'm, you're probably not. Ariana probably, probably will. Sarah will not watch this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we filmed with the kids around like my house in my yard and yeah, just had, just had fun. So this video is definitely lighthearted, meant to be fun. Wanted to do this vlog as well. Kind of a BTS. Hopefully there's a little bit of like you see some filmmaking. Um, it's kind of hard to vlog when you're definitely running like the production as well. Um, if you don't have Taylor and Joshua. Filmmaking is a team sport. Oh, nice. No Shout way. out, buy that merch. Oh, this is so dirty. And hopefully we're doing more rad dad videos for them. Yeah, if they like this cut and if- Which this would be is, a miracle. Yeah, it's always a risk being like, this is a crazy idea. I think you already said that, but. Yeah, if there's like an EcoFlow link to in the description, just click on it so they get like views over to their website. So they're like, dang, they converted a lot of at least clicks. Totally, like no one bought, but like a lot of traffic. <laughs> yeah, just go look at it. Is this what it feels like to like make a show and it's like, go watch it, we'll get renewed for season two? Maybe. Right, like, but, but we, we decide if we have another season. No, but like if they were like, wow, you guys oh, did again. You, you guys get right. another Rad Dad episode, like two. Right. right. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Sick. S Stephen Colbert would know that. <laughs> Wait, why? I don't know. It's because the first person that came to mind has a TV show. All right. All right, dude. We're out. We're out. Have a good one, everybody. Later.